Hello everyone, and welcome back to another remote sensing lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to talk sort of briefly, I want to talk sort of briefly about the algorithm that we're going to go through to sort of wrap your head around what these unsupervised classification algorithms are doing under the hood. And what we're going to look at is the algorithm called k-means, right? And so what k-means does, and this is going to be an overview, and we're going to go through sort of a stylized example in the next video. So this is our spectral plot from the previous discussion. I'm going to use that to sort of show you conceptually what k-means is going to do. Right, so what k-means does is it basically uses what are called random cluster centers and nearest neighbor distances to assign clusters. Or I'm calling it clusters in this particular um, discussion, but we will also sometimes see this called classes. All right. Okay, and so let's talk about what this means. So, what are random cluster centers? All right, well, a random cluster center is literally just a random number within the range of the data set, right? So I can make a random cluster center and put it, say, here, right? This red star here, this is a random cluster center, right? I can make another one and put it, say, here, right? This would be another random cluster center. I could put another one out here, right? And this could be another random cluster center, right? So a random cluster center is just of values within the range of the data set. that will act as seeds for the classification. They'll act as seeds for the classification. All right, so that's what this is. So then the next part we have to, dis to sort of interpret here is this idea of nearest neighbor distances. Right, nearest neighbor distances. So all nearest neighbor distances is saying, is it's saying, hey, given this cluster center, and given this, sorry, given this point, right, this point right here, right, which cluster center am I closest to, right? Am I closest to this one? Am I closest to this one? Or am I closest to this one? All right, well, visually, right, we can tell <laughs> the answer is going to be this purple one right here. So then we would initially say that this pixel right here, right, that this pixel right here is actually purple, right? It's not I, I drew it green, that was a poor choice, right? Because it's close, right? It's nearest neighbor distance, right? It's the this cluster center that it is closest to is purple. Okay. So once it's done that, it's going to then do what we call iteration, where it's going to move the cluster centers based on the, it's going to change this random cluster, it's going to move them based on the pixels, right, because each one of these points is a pixel, that it's assigned to that cluster, and that's going to repeat the process, okay? 
So this is what it sort of is doing. It's using random cluster centers and nearest neighbor distances to assign clusters. We can sort of consider k-means as a series of steps. And we're going to go through these steps again in more detail in the next video. But I just want to sort of outline them here. Right, one, right, set up random clusters. Right, two, assign pixels. Based on nearest neighbor, right? And that's what we kind of went through just a second ago. Right, three, you update cluster centers. Based on step two. So now you've moved the cluster centers, right? In step four, you update pixel assignments. Right, because here, right, we've moved some of these, some, we've moved the cluster centers. So maybe now some pixels are, are have changed. Right, maybe a pixel is closer to a different cluster center now, so it would change its assignment. Okay, so we update the pixel assignments. And again, we're going to go through a graphic example of this um, in the next video. So then, step five, we iterate. Right, we it. Let me make that a little cleaner. We it. Iterate. What does iterate mean? Iterate just simply remain, means repeat steps three and four until done. Right, so we keep updating the cluster centers, updating the pixel assignments, updating the cluster centers, updating the pixel assignments. Right, that's what that's what this iterate means. How do we know when we're done? Well, we're done when one of two things happens. When we reach a maximum number of iterations, right? Because you, ima you can imagine there might be a case where uh, cluster center is wobbling back and forth, right? So when we reach a maximum number of iterations or when a percentage of pixels don't change classes, right? So either we're clearly going to infinitely loop forever, or we've hit a point where things seem stable and we feel comfortable stopping, OK? So again, just to sort of reiterate, and we're going to go through a, an example in the next video, the five steps of k-means, set up your random clusters, which literally just means generate random numbers within the range of the data set. Two, assign your pixels based on which cluster center you are closest to. That's what this nearest neighbor means. Update the cluster centers. So once we've given this assignment, we move the cluster centers relative to the data that have been assigned to them. Then we update those pixel assignments because we've changed the location of the cluster center. And then we iterate, right? We move, update assignment, move, update assignment, move, update assignment, until we either do it enough times that we know we're going to go on forever and we tell the computer to stop, right? That's what this maximum number of iterations is. Or the pixels don't change classes. Again, we've hit that point where we feel that we've stabilized, OK? So hopefully this makes sense. And again, in the next video, we're going to go through a stylized example. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.